Hello, in this material I want to show you how to practice brush strokes uh, and um, I've done some exercises about it uh, in my uh, uh, PDF uh, tutorials uh, recently. So um, first of all the most important part is uh, just uh, practicing a uh, few things. So first, first thing is just painting with the tip of the brush, so with a very thin lines something like this yeah and maybe just a little more water okay uh, the secondly is painting with the side of the brush yeah so you can see the difference here we cover more sur more surface here we cover just small lines and this is used for glazing uh, on miniatures so just pushing the brush a little stronger you cover more surface if you push a little less then less surface and also um, next thing that we can do is just uh, applying dots so let's take my paint so something like this yeah just with the tip of the brush, so you can you can make small dots by very uh, tight squeezed ones, yeah, just to color something, or you can make bigger dots by pushing the brush stronger. So this can be used something like uh, graphic uh, uh, painters uh, do. So, for example, you have a shape, and we want to shade it. So we want to shade this side. Uh, on the miniatures it will be a little inverse but uh, yeah just by adding small dots you can shade an element yeah and so at first there will, will be some scarce, do scarce dots here yeah okay so here it's lighter yeah so it's more bright but here we can add even more. So just by painting dots, you can see that this part is just getting dar darker, even if there it's not covering. So it's used with such a technique is used with when painting with ink, just to shade something. Yeah. So here's the shade. Here's the light. In the miniatures, uh, on the miniatures we do something inverse because we can also paint with just bright, bright paint. So we can paint everything just with dots. So the whole surface is just painted with a base color and then highlighted with dots like on this one. We can just put more brighter colors like this and just highlight. Yeah? And this will leave a texture. Uh, it's important to have a uh, for small dots just to have a very sharp uh, brush that is uh, that you can then you can make uh, very small dots. So putting them even them very close together will generate a smoother transition. You can of course leave more mark uh, marks uh, of the dots, maybe bigger ones, push the brush even stronger. Uh, but you can also dab a little only with the tip of the brush, yeah, something like this. So you can see that this leaf is texture.
Also, uh, using a, uh, a sharp brush, you can paint with lines. So, for example, we want to paint a material uh, and that has some crossing lines uh, that are visible, but it's on a very small surface, so something like this only. Yeah? So we want to paint the whole surface with just such lines. Yeah? And if we, if we stack those lines together, it will cover, but the brush strokes will be visible. Of course, we can cross those lines like this. And the, if you make very small, thin lines, like with the tip of, tip of your brush, something like this, on the miniature it will add up, it will be visible. Yeah? The same is with painting hair. So, for example, we have a uh, bigger hair strand. Yeah? So the highlight will be placed here and on the bottom here in this in this place, yeah. Because here the light falling from above will be reflected from the hair. And uh, hair strands are uh, a material that is um, glossy, so they will reflect a lot of light. So you can just paint it like this. And all the time, just all the time, paint it with lines. If the miniature has sculpted hair, sometimes the strands are very uh, thick, just like noodles, but just ignore the sculpt and just paint with brush strokes. The structure will add up. and the hair will look just lighter in the end. Just with the tip of the brush. The, thin, the thinner the line, the, the better. So make such exercises just to practice on a piece of paper. Just uh, just take your time because this will help you in the end. Uh, even when painting a miniature, you can paint everything. And just think about the texture of the element you are painting and just use brush strokes just to accent it. Just add something new. And if you look at materials. Mm. Just using such lines gives you the possibility uh, to paint many things. Also using bra dots, brush strokes. Yeah, this will give you the basic technique to paint every single material. And for me it's, it's the total basics of just operating with a brush.
so you can see that when done on a miniature. This will add a streaky texture to the hair. So we had two big strands, but it's just adding additional detail to, to them. Yeah, so the we blended a little. So that's how you can use with brush strokes. Also, you can and just with lines you can also highlight uh, you can shade so <coughs> for example if we would have uh, an amount yeah, like this one so yeah so the shape of this element will be like this so we can start just by shading maybe this side and during the whole process just use a brush stroke like this just with the tip of the brush it will leave a mark that maybe the surface is uh, scratched Of course, uh, it's it's good to have a very um, sharp brush for this. It's very similar to just uh, sketching with a pencil uh, because when sketching with a pencil you also can um, just paint with the side to cover more surface also you can uh, paint with lines sometimes you just paint in one direction like this but if you want, don't want the uh, streaky uh, texture then you can always change the direction so we just can do it like this. You even can just make a constant movement like this. Yes, yeah, so we can see it colors. It's not you. Do, you have to remove the brush from the surface. Yeah, so you can see that just adding uh, some different brush strokes that adds uh, the uh, additional detail. Also. Um, it's cool to practice something like like scratches. So, for example, we have a shape a cube. So, if a if a material is worn, something like this. Maybe not a cube, but something similar. Yeah. So. If, an, uh, if a material is being uh, maybe worn, uh, it's uh, prone to be, to be scratched. Um, it will be scratched on the edges. So adding small scratches like this one, this one, but close to the edge. Yeah. Just with the tip of the brush. In the middle, maybe there will be some, but not too many. Yeah, just small dots. We can change the appearance of this of the surface. Yeah, so it looks more worn. So it looks 
a little more scratched. And this, this can we can do just when, when painting such some elements like non-metallic weapons that are maybe used on the battlefield. Yeah. Mm. So try to practice something like this, just to generate the different uh, surfaces. Even painting uh, small pieces of a, a leather belt. Yeah. Just coloring it, it with this brush stroke. Yeah, so the more color you put here, then we can add some ah, and uh, a very important thing. Maybe some fashion. We can also practice painting some small uh, hair, but I will show it in a second. So, if you don't change the direction of the way you are painting. You can generate the transition, but it will leave a streaky texture. Sometimes you can push the brush more uh, to cover more surface. Sometimes less, only with the tip. Yeah, this is with the tip. This is with the side. You can see the difference. And you will have a highlight in the middle. But also on the end we can add some scratches here and there. thing we can practice is just painting uh, uh, hair, maybe even um, eyebrows, let's say for example. So when painting eyebrows don't, eyebrows don't do something like this, yeah, just painting a line, yeah? just try to paint them like this, just with small brush strokes. Something like this, yeah. Even if the eyebrow is sculpted, just color it using such small brush strokes. You can paint paint facial hair like this. Just add one direction, small brush strokes. On a small face, it would be something like this, very small, yeah. If uh, there's some hair close to the face, you can paint additional strands just to show that they are combining with the skin. Yeah. Something like this. So, experiment. Just bigger surfaces like this just to color fill with paint dots and brush strokes the more you push the brush the thicker the line the less the thinner okay practice at home and I hope this will be helpful for you.